Mr. Mr. Rudy, That's Mr. All. Rudy, the Prime Minister has said that there was an error. He's expressed an apology, he's expressed regret, and therefore the matter should end here. And now the charges, the BJP and the left are flogging a dead horse. First, I must say that the argument posed by Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi is completely outlandish because instead of answering some questions straight, he is trying to complicate them to the viewers. And the very fact that the Prime Minister came to Parliament and said that it was a mistake, it was an error of judgment and that the whole process got vitiated because of that and the Supreme Court struck down the decision of the Prime Minister to appoint the CVC who was tainted. Having said that, the Prime Minister also said that the DOPT did not furnish him enough information so that he could act accordingly. Now here is a situation where the then, then, the, then the DOPT minister, who is now the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, tells uh, and claims that the, the clearance was obtained for appointment of, of, of the CVC when he, was, when he was brought to Delhi, which has been contradicted by the state government of Kerala now. Now who has to be believed? Here is the Prime Minister who is Mr. Clean. He says, uh, yeah, yes, I am sorry, but the fact remains I was misguided. So the question first arises whether the Prime Minister was misguided or he chose to be misguided. Second, here is the Minister for DOPT who is now the Minister of Maharashtra. He says, I had nothing to do with it. The clearance was got from the state government. And so I did send what I was supposed to give to the Prime Minister. Now here is the state government which says, no, we did not give any clearance. So the question, there are many questions now, whether the Prime Minister is not telling the truth, whether the DOPT Minister who was then, okay. who, is now the Prime, who now is now the Home Minister, is, is it not telling the truth? Who, is the situation is more murky now. Oh, absolutely, you're the saying BJP the situation is murky. Is the BJP, you're saying the situation is murky. The BJP and said that's fine, you get over with it. But now here is the government itself, the people and the representatives in the government, their letters saying that the Prime Minister was aware, that his office was told that there is a pending case of corruption. Who is to be believed? The Prime Minister? The DOPT Minister? Who is okay, you made your point, Dr. Singhvi. Dr. Singhvi, the government is suffering a crisis of credibility. We saw the Prime Minister say, and let me just quickly quote to you, the note that was prepared by the DOPT did not contain information about the charge sheet against Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas says Kerala government gave a vigilance clearance. And now we're seeing the Kerala Chief Minister's version as Rajiv Rudy says, everybody seems to be passing the blame onto the next person. Instead of resolving the controversy, the matter is getting murkier because the government is continuously contradicting each other and in the public perception we seeing as playing a game of passing the buck. What is this whole program, this whole so-called controversy based on? This whole controversy and this whole program is premised upon a statement today from the Kerala government. Okay, Javed, let me also bring you in over here on this whole controversy because the government, as we see on that letter which is up on our screen right now, the government is now badly entangled in a terrible mess and this is an opportunity the BJP will not let pass. But they, they ought not to let pass. But the fact of the matter is that the BJP has its own internal dynamics because of which, you know, there was a total disconnect between what the Raj Sabha leadership of the BJP was doing and what the Lok Sabha unit had done. The left has been a bit more consistent. The left walked out in both houses. The left is the one that they've got out this. But be that as it may, the government has the government has got itself into a huge tangle and an irrespective of what they do and what they try, now everything appears to be just coming unstuck. Here we have the reputations of two leaders, two Mr. Cleans, the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh as well as Prithviraj Chauhan. Both of them have a pretty blemishless record. But now both of them appear to be, you know, uh, both of them, uh, the answers that they provided are totally unconvincing. Let me go across to Mr. Sitaram Yachuri, who is listening in, Mr. Yachuri. Uh, so far, Prithviraj Chavan had an image of being this Mr. Clean. That image is now uh, under serious scrutiny. He tried to pass the blame onto your government in Kerala. That has backfired. Uh, what really happens from here? We've seen Mr. Chavan come out and say, I was misquoted. Do you buy that? Or do you believe there's a lot of explaining that Mr. Chavan needs to do? Well, there's a lot of explanation for the government and the Prime Minister to give. I mean, that is precisely what we had asked them on the floor of the Rajya Sabha after we made the statement and admitted that he made an error of judgment. And in one of the reasonings that he gave for that error of judgment is that when the file was put up to this committee that consists of him, the Home Minister and the leader of the opposition, the, there was no mention of this vigilance case by the DOPT. Now, this is very strange because way back in early 2008, 
when the issue of deputation of Kerala cadre of IAS officers to central positions as secretaries had, was, was on the agenda, the Kerala government wrote specifically saying that they will not be in a position to depute or send on deputation, Mr. Thomas, because of the pending of this case. Okay. So now to say that they were not aware of this, I think is extremely oh, strange.